religion, I become a Muslim today. Because I have learned Muslim. But I've stated a fact. No Muslim will get angry. It's a fact. Muhammad is dead. It's a fact. It's a fact. Water is dead. Fact. Charles Darwin is dead. Fact. No, Jesus died and rose again. Fact. was not worth anything. In the law courts, women were not respected in the law courts. Who, who were the first people to see Jesus rise from the dead? Women. It was women that saw Jesus rise from the dead first. If you were starting a new religion in the first century in Judaism, women had no respect in the law courts, and yet it was women who testified to Jesus Christ. Okay, now, as you a secularist, an atheist, explain that. You can't explain it on a rational point of view. The only way you can account for that it was women is that something supernatural happened. So that's one piece of evidence. So, there you are. If you want the evidence, it's there. We're not actually intellectual. We're not actually intellectual. I have a degree from Manchester University. I studied postmodern philosophy at MA level. I'm not actually intellectual. But when you ask the question, you better be ready to give some evidence yourself. And we've not seen any evidence from the crowd. Not one piece of evidence. All we see is anger, hatred, and violence. We haven't seen anything of argumentation and rational discussion from the crowd. So, what you need to do is know that Christ gave his life for you. Christ gave his life for you. He gave his life for you. And you need Jesus. You need him. You need him because one day you're going to die. That's the one thing that I know about you. I know one thing about you. You're going to die. And I want you to be ready for death. I want you to be right with God. And listen to this. The only way you can be right with God is to know that Jesus is perfect and He was the perfect sacrifice for you. He was the perfect sacrifice for you. The perfect sacrifice. And if you trust in Him, I guarantee you, you're safe. Now, and for eternity. If you put your faith in Him. But if you put your faith in Muhammad, He's dead and gone, finished. You put your faith in Buddha, He's dead. You put your faith in Charles Darwin, He's dead, He's gone. You're not going to get anywhere. You put your faith in the great philosophers, they are gone, they are dead. But you need Jesus Christ who died and rose again.